Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. It's almost nighttime on day 5, and we have a meeting to be at for two different quests in about 50 minutes. At 9 o'clock, which is in 49 minutes from now, we have two things to do. We need to meet with Barak, who is supposed to supply us with the heart of a person who is highly infected. A fresh heart needs to be fresh, otherwise it's useless for the vaccine research. And I also am supposed to meet with Willow, the Hunchback's daughter. Or, well, the Hunchback's adopted-slash-kidnapped daughter, kinda? Not sure it really makes sense to call her his daughter in any way, really. But regardless, yes, we are supposed to meet them in the backyard. The blind backyard, to be specific which is unfortunately in an infected district. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> Yay, plague rats. Oh. Anyway, we've got 50 minutes to get there. Let's, let's see, what's the best way to get there? Probably here and then hang a right. Yeah, we might have to search around a bit. I don't know if it's actually literally exactly here or just like somewhere in this whole place. So, this could take a while. Infected district, here we come. Oh, looks like we can actually just go right through here. Almost got me. Tricky cloud of doom. Yep, so obviously neither of them are actually literally right here. They must be somewhere else. Uh, that or you actually do have to wait until 9 o'clock? Oh, god damn it. You know, I'm actually going to increase my immunity. It's relatively low right now. There we go. Let's also take some bandages. Health is at about 75%. Alright, that's better. Uh... Is that Willow? Living heart. The heart of a person affected with the sand plague. I think that's Willow. Okay. Uh... Remember I was saying it's quite a coincidence that we're meeting at the, you know, the meeting place of Willow and the meeting place of Brock is exactly the same and exactly the same time? And I was wondering if he was going to perhaps take her heart for research? I was thinking that might happen, but then I was also thinking it doesn't make any sense, because the heart is supposed to be taken from somebody who's at the critical stage of the infection. Someone who's just about to die, basically. And there's no way Willow was just about to die. She was moving around just fine. Last time I talked to her, just like five hours earlier or so. It looks like Willow, though. I, I guess that's it. There. The heart is still beating. No time to wait for Barak to return. The precious specimen must be taken to Rupin, while the bacteria still live. I think I have 30 minutes, 40 at the most. The microbe will certainly die after that. Okay, I guess I have to run straight to Rupin then. Uh, but what about... Willow. I mean, the side quest for Willow hasn't disappeared or anything. It doesn't in any way note that she's dead, so maybe it's not Willow? It looks exactly like Willow, though. That'd be quite a coincidence. Well, regardless, we can come back. For now, we need to run straight to Reuben. Can I even make it there in 30 to 40 minutes? 
I guess. Uh, let's plan out the the route. What's the best? What's the best way to get there? Absolute best. I could go down here, hit the train tracks, and then go there through the train tracks. So kind of like an L. Or I could go across this bridge and go down and go to the right. I feel like that might be a little bit, a little bit shorter. Maybe, maybe a little bit shorter. I actually don't have to go across the train tracks. I could just go down here and then just go across here. Yeah, and then it's not an L, it's almost a straight line. Let's do it. I wonder if there actually is a time a timer on this quest. It's one of those things where who really knows? Because it wouldn't surprise me if that's just yet more flavor text that doesn't actually mean anything. But it also wouldn't surprise me if it's actually true. We go straight and then hang a right. Wait a minute. Hmm. I was thinking if we should talk to Anna because of the whole Willow thing, maybe she would have something to say about it, if that was Willow's body. I don't have time though, I can't I can't spare it. We gotta do this and then see how much time is left in the day. those things. Ah, oh, but I don't need more medicine. I need rounds. And the only thing I have to trade for that is this, which is worth five, and the rounds are only worth one. Nope. Yeah, I just don't need more drugs. Gonna save my trade goods for rounds and stuff like that. And ban Whoa! And bandages. I'm gonna have to get hit by this. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Unless I want to go all the way around, and I don't think I have the time to spare. Freaked me out for a second, though, but then I had to accept the inevitable. Nine o'clock. Okay, Ruben, I hope this helps. I haven't slept for three nights straight. I don't think I'll manage another one. This is it, Doctor. It seems we have exactly what we need. We have brought the bacteria into the light. This writhing horned abomination. We can look at it now, and maybe even give it a name. You won't have to go to the Inquisitor empty-handed. So the last iteration was different from the previous ones. The vaccine will be ready by tomorrow morning. Where did you get the specimen? Belong to a young dancer, possibly a prostitute. He must be talking about Willow, right? It's got, I mean, nothing explicitly said Willow, but it has to be Willow. It looked like Willow, and she was at the place that we were supposed to meet her. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's no harm in telling Reuben that Barack gave it to me, right? Because, after all, Reuben was already trying to work with Barack. It's just that he got arrested. So yeah, I'll just tell him. Barack gave it to me. 
That blood is unusual. Did you ask him how he came across it? What? What's unusual about it? The blood seemed to be nothing out of the ordinary. Oh, you know, Bachelor, it's strange. I think I've learned to tell the character of a person by their blood specimen. Here's the blood of an egotist. This one belonged to a poet. The owner of this blood was exhausted. And whoever gave that specimen was destined to become a great person. Well, this blood is extraordinary. Okay, how? How is it extraordinary? So now what? Now we'll begin to produce the vaccine. I wonder how many hearts it would take to make enough doses. You need more hearts? Oh god. The technology itself is what matters. We'll report our findings to the Inquisitor, and let him get the components. After all, is it not the reason he was delegated here? Fair enough. Come tomorrow, early in the morning, or even tonight, the vaccine should be ready for testing. Okay, so just come back as soon as I can. How is it going to work? I don't know yet. The solution needs to be tested. However, given that it's not really a vaccine, but rather a preventative medicine, I would expect its effects to be temporary. It won't protect the inoculated person forever. It's better than nothing. Okay, so that's the end of the quest for the day, right? Yep, we've caught the bacteria. The blood is teeming with these ferocious monsters. If Reuben manages to produce at least a single dose of the, of the vaccine by morning, I won't have to face the Inquisitor empty-handed. With a weapon like this, we may be able to stop the outbreak. Only one small task remains. Alright, so I've done all that I actually need to do for the day. So, as far as the other tasks go, well, the innocent ones, the freeing of the unfairly arrested people is not going to happen unless I am rich and I am not rich. Which means... I'm gonna have to follow up on the Willow quest if I want to potentially get money. Although, again, it seems like she's actually dead. But, let's take a look. We've got three hours left in the day. Let's get out of here without getting more infected. And then go... what? Should I go try to look for Willow even though I'm pretty sure she's dead? Pretty sure that was her body. Well, we could do that, or we can go talk to Anna or the Hunchback. Perhaps tell him what happened to her or something. Let's go talk to Anna and make our way up to where we were supposed to meet Willow. I mean, it wouldn't be impossible for it to be somebody other than Willow. After all, I have seen two other people that look like Willow that aren't Willow. But it's very, very unlikely. The meeting place, the meeting time, the fact that the dialogue option that the bachelor could tell Ruben said that he thinks that she was uh, a dancer, and we know that she was a dancer. Murderer up ahead, and the Plague Rat, great. You know, I'm just gonna run for Anna's place. Run! Please do not throw a knife at the back of my head. Oh god! <laughs> Fuck! Their aim is so damn good. No scope headshotted by a knife. Alright, let's wait. Wait a couple seconds for the guard to do their thing. 
How did the Plague Red not see me? Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, I think we're actually good now. <laughs> good luck, guard. <laughs> you got two murderers and a plague rat. Oh. All right, see if Anna has anything to say about Willow. I could have been a famous singer. Okay, yeah, so that was her body, like I thought. The hunchback has given me money in advance, but I couldn't save the girl. She has caught the infection accidentally, and then the Ripper's knife got her. The only consolation is that she didn't really have a chance to make it. The Ripper wouldn't have cut her otherwise. She caught the infection and then got to the critical stage in only like five, six, maybe seven hours? She was... she seemed perfectly healthy. Does that mean Willow's dead? Are you sure? Did you know her? Yes. Such an alluring girl. Well, every cloud has a silver lining. What do you mean? I've got my payback. In spades. Oh, please allow me to spare you the underlying reasoning, will you? By the way, did the hunchback say anything about taking this out on the old Gimskis? Ah, uh, yes. Calamities are truly the best time to settle old scores. What the fuck, Anna? You got your payback by killing an innocent... Well, I mean... I guess she wasn't really killed. I mean, she was killed. <laughs> she was killed by Barack. But I guess she was probably going to die anyway. But regardless, payback by an innocent person dying? What the hell is wrong with you, Anna? Jesus, what do I say? Hmm. I could just say clever and keep the money. Or I can say you're out of your mind, which is what I want to say. You're out of your mind. That ends that. Can you catch a rat? And you're one of the people I'm supposed to protect, right? Aren't you on the list? Oh! You're not on the list, Anna. Hmm. Well, that sucks for you. You're not on my super special gotta protect him list, so, you know, if something bad happens to you, I guess you're shit out of luck. I wouldn't miss her. What a piece of shit she is. Hmm. Do you think I should go tell the Hunchback? This quest is not actually marked as completed. So there's gotta be something more I can do. Right? I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Going back to her body, I would assume is pointless. I've got enough time to get back to the hunchback. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. See what the hunchback thinks of all this. Don't you- oh my god, Plague Rat. I hate you. Oh 
Oh god, oh god. Fuck me. That's okay, actually. My infection's still not too high. <laughs> I've got two plague rats on me, actually. Uh... Uh, there's gonna be a third in just a minute. Oh my god, I just... Fuck, I just walked through more infection. Ugh. I keep forgetting to look for clouds of infection. Let's ditch these plague rats. Oh, fuck. I got, st I got stuck at the little ledge thing, which stopped me, and then I got bit by the damn rats. Alright, how am I looking? Uh, health is fine, immunity is crap, hunger is pretty high. Uh, it's actually not too bad. Yeah, I'm actually not doing too bad. I just need to take, yet again, more immunity boosters. Milk. Wait, milk only costs 210? Hmm. I don't really want to drink or eat anything that comes from an animal, though. Bread and canned vegetables sound a lot better. It seems awfully cheap, though. Where, uh, was it that cheap before? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna buy it. It'll be tomorrow shortly, and then all the shops should restock. Got two hours? Yep, two hours till the end of the day. You have any bandages, my friend? Yes, excellent. Okay, I can actually tell him. Good. I've come bearing grave news. Brace yourself. She's sick? She's dead. What? How? Did she get infected? I mean, uh, she was murdered. Do I really want to incriminate Barack? get infected. Let's just say probably. It's not your fault. But someone's fault it is, eh? Someone's been touching her, holding my lovely thing with their pestilent, pesty hands, kissing her with their hollow black mouth. A pit of a mouth. Things are going south. Oh, no pity for the pity mouths. I'll avenge the sweet thing. We'll find the person that's done this to her. We'll find them all, them pity mouths. I shall found a brotherhood of zealots, and we shall burn them all to ashes. Oh, it'll be fun. Big, great fun. What? All them pity mouths? You've lost your damn mind. The streets are filled with zealots even without your help. I know. They're killing normal, healthy people. We're gonna burn the pest. I'm praying to have a chance to burn the pity mouth? What? What is pity mouth? What does it even mean? The person that had touched her tender knees last. I pray I get the chance to burn that person alive before the sand plague burns them from the inside. The plague that snatched my girl away from me. I'll burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it to ashes, burn it to the ground!
This is the most idiotic way to fight the epi epidemic I can think of. <laughs> I guess that's the end of that. Jesus Christ, what in the hell is he going to do? Yep. An unexpected denouement. The girl is dead and the hunchback is out of his mind with grief. He's working to gather a mob of supporters with the intention of raising the entire town to the ground. A band of blood-crazed arsonists is the last thing this town needs. All because of me. Oh, how the Inquisitor would approve. Should I not have told him? What if I just didn't tell him? Well, I certainly didn't get a fortune there. Which means I am not bailing out anybody. I've got a little bit less than 30,000, which is a lot more than I had at the beginning, but that money is going to go fast, especially if I start buying clothing, which is so freaking expensive. Okay, um, got a couple hours until nightfall. Ruben did say I could come back tonight. Um, but there's probably going to be a new play at the town theater, and I want to hang around for that. Let's do some shopping. Look for some clothes stores, see if I can buy some needles to trade with. See if I can find any food shops that I haven't already visited. Medicine, don't need medicine. Let's kind of meander on over to the town theater. What? Have I spoken to Ava today? I can't remember. What? Eh, nothing to say. And how's my exhaustion again? Yeah, my exhaustion's pretty good. Don't need to sleep. Gotta help him. Oh no, shit, he's already dead. Mm. Alright, bring it on. I'm not gonna waste a bullet on you. Come on. Throw a knife at me, asshole. Or don't. Gaining on me. Making me nervous. Hey, a closed door, finally. Do you sell any needles? Yes, you do. Yeah, just just 67. That's well worth it to trade with the kids. Eight thousand four hundred for repellent ankle boots. You know, let's let's actually see how good those actually are. Cuz it doesn't tell you the stats. Let's just buy them, put them on and see what they do. So right now my outfit offers no protection whatsoever. If I was to put these on. Oh. For some reason I had my protective gloves not equipped. Huh. Anyway. So that's like a 15 to 20 percent protection from most stuff. 
And that's enough money to feed me for like two days? Nah. No way. That's not worth it. That is not worth it. But let's go ahead and leave the protective gloves on. I don't know why those weren't equipped. I think they've been there the entire game. How much protection do those offer? Oh, a little bit from infection. Very, very little to everything else. Store up here on the right. Got about an hour until midnight. You know what? Let's see if we can take this guy out stealthily. fight. Didn't even drop anything. Ah. Oh. You have any bandages for me? Mr. Max Payne? Nope. That place sells medicine, which I do not need. That place sells food, but I'm pretty sure I've already been there. Hmm. I really don't have much to do. I suppose I could go, like, talk to old Gimski and maybe sleep for an hour there. It's either that or just, like, randomly loot bins. But that's far from exciting. What has that blunderhead found in the well? I think I am going to sleep. I have enough exhaustion to justify sleeping for one hour. Man, my hunger is getting really high. Hmm. Is my infection high enough to justify using antibiotics? I don't think so. Let's just take some Meridorm. Heal us up a little bit, which kind of massively increases our exhaustion. Let's actually sleep for two hours. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mime performance is being rehearsed at the theater. I guess it was worth it to take the Meridorm. Sort of. Meridorm is definitely not great. It's really weak. It just doesn't heal you very much. But it massively increases your exhaustion. Okay, so gotta keep in mind all the stores should be restocked, so any food places I should revisit. that? I've never heard that sound before. I see something burning. They were burning. Holy shit. Molotov cocktails, it looks like. And there was fire. Is that one of the Hunchback's people? Did he actually get some people together? Alright, well, we've got new enemies to look out for, I guess.
So here we are. So much blood was spilled. Spilled? You mean by accident? Something you had nothing to do with? It had to be done so that we could move forward. We're on the path to victory. Don't you agree? We are. Now we know how to fight Sanpest for real. False rumors have been disproven. It's no demon. These are just tiny particles that die quickly if they can't bite into hot blood. People fear Katarina's prophecy. People only fear bloodshed when it's their blood and their shed. Blood. Blood is nothing but a nutritional medium. He who sows blood reaps a ripe harvest. There's so much... What? There's so much imagery and, and text suggesting that we're all part of a play. Or at least the three main characters. The Bachelor, the Haruspex, and the Changeling. That they're actors in a play. I wonder if that's just merely kind of poetic imagery, or if something more is going to happen with that. What? Just doing the rounds. Okay, anything for the day? No quest? Any letters? We're on day six? Nope. Okay, well, Ruben said to go visit him. Either early, uh, late last night, or early this morning, so let's just head straight there. Oh! You know what, let's go to little Vlad's place to get an updated infection map before. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> well, looks like we found one of the infected districts. Wonder what's happened with the food prices today. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? I don't know what the hell that was. I think it messed with my controls for a second, though. For a second there, uh, any control I was pressing was doing the opposite. Like, left was going right. And who is that over there? Is that one of the crazed member of the Hunchbacks? Oh. Holy shit! I'm curious, what kind of loot do you have on you? Oh god. Oh. Molotov cocktail, quite a bit of money, too. Huh, could be worth killing those people. I think all of my stats are kind of screwed now. Uh, my infection is relatively high, my immunity is low, my hunger is high, at least my exhaustion isn't high. Oh. I still want to know what that new orange thing was, though. What in the hell was that? Is that even related to the plague, or is that something extra? Is the plague evolving? There's this thing that needs to be done. The exterminators are planning to storm the termitary. Stop them. 
The, the what? Huh? What? Why? What exterminators? The arsonists who have been terrorizing the town. Mad fanatics gathered by Var the Usurer. He's a former fire eater or a firefighter or something. It didn't take it didn't take him long to gather a bunch of similarly insane maniacs. He's sworn to burn the disease out with fire. Jesus Christ. Is this all just because I told him what happened to his daughter? If I didn't tell him, would none of this have happened? Is there any way to stop the assault? Well, you can't stop the assault itself. But the informers who reported that to my... To me, said that at 10 o'clock, Var the Hunchback and a few others will be around there to scout out the area and look for a way to pry open the barricaded entrance. Hmm. I was going to say the informers reported to my something and then to me. 10 o'clock. Uh, is that 10 in the morning or 10 at night? Most likely 10 in the morning, I would think. I'm going to write that down just in case it doesn't actually tell me that after I finish talking to him. 10 o'clock. We'll be around there, so they'll be around the termitary. Okay. Did you mean to say they reported to your father? N no. To a partner of mine. Somehow, I still think you meant your father. The informers told him of the up upcoming assault, and he agreed to turn a blind eye on it. Is that correct? Yes, but it's no concern of yours. Why won't your father handle this matter? Enough! I've told you already. Whatever my father does, I refuse to call his decisions in question. He is troubled enough as it is. Particularly troubled by something that is actually supposed to be your job. The search for the carrier. If you're the impending assault, stirs your... It... What? If you are the impending assault, stirs your imagination so much... I honestly don't know what that sentence is trying to say. If you are the impending assault stirs your imagination so much, go ahead and talk to my father in person. It does stir my imagination so much. If your father's okay with the termitary being burnt down, then that means what? He wants certain evidence to be burned away? Don't worry, I'll do just that. They're going to gather at the Termitary's entrance at nightfall. When the Hunchback approaches the hallway, he needs to be shot. I think it would be best to lie in wait right there. All this time I've been looking for someone brave enough to do this for a sizable reward. Wait. At the entrance at nightfall. So that means the ten, the ten o'clock must be p.m., right? Ten o'clock at night. Except I thought nightfall started at nine p.m., not ten p.m. Right? Isn't that what Brock said? Nightfall starts at nine. What what is happening here? I I don't know what to believe. Is it going to be at ten? If it is going to be at ten, is it going to be at night? It seems so because they're going to gather there at nightfall, but nightfall is at nine. So when are they going to be there? Let's just let's just assume it's 9, okay? We can't go wrong by accidentally getting there too early, you know? Let's just assume it's 9. Okay. Gather at term Terry at night. Shoot them. Got it. A reward from your father? No. From me personally. Ten thousand. Alright. I'll talk to your father. Interest speaks all sorts of tongues and plays all kinds of characters. Even that of disinterest. Give me the new map, please. Alright, what are we looking at? Jesus Christ. 
That's a lot of infection. Before it was three places or so. Now it's four. Now Ava's place is in an infected zone. And all the factories. Where did those lazy bastards go? We promise according to our hopes. We perform according to our fears. Don't tell me that's not what you were expecting. Alright, how am I looking on stats? Immunity needs to go up. Let's take care of that. Jesus, that's like all my immunity boosting pills. Alright. Health is decent. Hunger is very high. Exhaustion is pretty low. Infections... Uh, it's... Getting to the point where I need to take some antibiotics, but it's not quite there yet. Yeah, I'm not going to take antibiotics yet. I'll wait for it to get a bit worse, but yeah, we're looking pretty good. Uh, actually, infection is showing up on the top right of the screen constantly, which means the game seems to think that's actually a really bad amount of infection to have, so maybe I should take something. Hmm. Alright. Wait, did that do anything? Wait, 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 I just took immunity boosting powder, didn't I? Oh shit, that was immunity drugs. That wasn't antibiotics. Shit. Hmm. My last save was from a while ago. I'm just I'm just gonna live with it. It'll be fine. Let's take some antibiotics. Oh, I'm almost dead. Great. Take a bandage. We'll be fine. Okay, now now we're pretty good. Ha like 40% health, low infection, medium exhaustion. I kind of want to sleep a bit, but I need to eat. Should I sleep? Maridorm just does so damn little, I feel like I'm just wasting the day by drinking that and increasing my exhaustion so much. But it's the one thing I've got so much of, the other stuff I barely have any of. Nah, I'm not gonna do it for now. I need food too badly. Whoa! What? Oh god, I got hit right before I went inside, you fuck! Cheap asshole. I need bandages. Like, I really- oh, okay. I really need bandages. And food. I need to go speak with Big Vlad. I think I'm just going to go around the infected zone. Did I just receive a letter? Heard a scribbling sound. No? No. Also, I heard somebody grunt. What, what was that? Don't know.
Yeah, you might want to work a little bit harder there, guard. That guard was just watching while that murderer killed that woman. Who's gonna win? Oh, the murderer won. Hard. It's hard. So, Bachelor, I have some news for you. The bad and, well, you know, all news is bad these days. I'm listening. The Inquisitor whom the powers that be have sent to resolve our, uh, supposedly hopeless situation is Karminsky, the Hanging Judge. The man whose lips and nails are always wet with blood. You know him better than I do, though. Oh, that's right. This is the day when the Inquisitors are supposed to arrive. The train is supposed to arrive with the supplies and everything. I'd kind of forgotten about that. What is the good news, then? Or was that it? That was the bad one. Here's the good news. He is willing to respect your decision. Find the carrier for him and Karminsky will declare you the person who has done his job. Hmm. Oh, really? As far as I know, an Inquisitor would never pass an opportunity to put another victory on their record. Competition. Well, as of now, he's in good graces of the powers that be, so he can afford to do that. And besides, as you are probably well aware, the Inquisitors have a very strict internal code of honor. They'd never conceal the truth. That would equal death to them. Thanks for the news. So, so you need to catch the girl. To come to the Inquisitor with the shield, so to speak. Or is it a girl, eh? <laughs> Do you know the arsonists are planning to attack the termitary? Let them plan. I hope they'll do without me wishing them good luck. Don't you want to stop them? Even if they had catapults, they wouldn't be able to damage these walls. The termitary can withstand straight-line artillery bombardment. Seriously, it's that strong? What if they get inside? Then they'll regret it bitterly. For goodness sake. Why don't you get back to looking for the carrier, Doctor? If we figure out who the bitch is, tomorrow you will leave the town a winner, and the Inquisitor will take the townsfolk's lives into his skilled hands, including the lives of the Termitary's inhabitants. What you're saying is you're planning to do exactly nothing, am I correct? I won't move a finger. And what could I possibly undertake? All my servants, mercenaries, and household members who still have the courage and the strength to meddle with this sort of affairs, well, some of them are dead. Others have joined the bandits. Bandits? This is new. My household is not the only source of those. The Keynes fellows have started a gang too. They're mugging marauders. Despair is making everyone grab their knife. They're fighting each other already. Is that so? That's it. Swine. Beasts. I shouldn't have indulged their whims. Who dared defile Victoria's tomb? Beasts. Mindless swine. I would have strangled them if I could. Wait, Victoria's tomb has been... has been desecrated? Where is Victoria's tomb? Hmm. Also, it's been forever since I've spoken with Yulia. Huh. wonder if it'd be worth paying her a visit. Okay, so what does the quest have for us now? What is happening with this family? What are they trying to cover up? The younger acts as though he is ashamed, and the older fails to convince me of his ignorance. Apparently, I will have to take care of the hunchback myself. Hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, why does younger Vlad... 
Yeah, obviously younger Vlad and older Vlad don't have the same idea about the Termitary. They're obviously very different. If the Termitary is indeed basically immune to really even being destroyed because it's so damn strong, then why would young Vlad want me to kill the Hunchback? Why would it matter? The Hunchback won't be able to do a damn thing. It's too damn strong. But on the other hand, maybe older Vlad is wrong or lying about the Termitary being so strong. And maybe he wants it to be breached. Maybe he wants them to burn it down. But then why does young Vlad not want that? What's going on? I don't get who's lying and who's not and exactly what their motivations are. It's very strange. What I can be pretty sure of, though, is that I'm probably the one that's going to lose out. No matter what happens, it's going to be my ass on the line, it's going to be me out there getting infected, wasting my rounds of ammunition, getting hurt. And all they're going to do is stay inside their homes. Hmm. But it is a side quest, so I apparently don't have to do it. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to... Well, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. We don't have a main quest for the day. We have a side quest that we can't do anything about until nightfall. So that's a long ways off. We've received no letters. I guess I'm probably just going to search for food. Until I get a letter or something significant happens.